What is happening, people? We're back again. Episode 10 of Chat and Pony. My guest today is going to be the Meatball, as you all know. But I've got to uh, give a shout out first to the sponsor of this episode, The Right Click. The Right Click are an internet marketing company who can help your business advertise on Google, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and other social media channels. If you just need any more leads or sales, get in touch with them today. Yeah. So. We've only got me big sis in, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> we've only got me big. We've only got me big sister in yes, today. We got the meatball in, mm-hmm. so we just say hello, Mo. Say what's happening. What's How happening, are we? lads? We're all right. It's what is it? It's the Wednesday. It's midweek, and we are three, two weeks from flying. Two weeks from flying. Three, three weeks, weeks from, from fighting. fighting. Yeah. Starving now, lads. I've been on the. Um, the Instagram pages looking at me scran, me scoffing. You want to see the list I've got in my notes? <laughs> have you? I've got a list of about oh, yeah. twenty four different scran gaps in my notes. Have you? I put it in. I put it in the lads' group chat the other day, and they were like, "Fucking hell, pad! Are you gonna get through all them?" I was I like, know. "Believe me, lads, Watch, yeah. I'll get through all them." But um, I know. I know. I've only had like seven hundred calories myself so far today. What have I had? It's funny because me and Paddy are just bad for food. Yeah, we lad? the terrible. waste, the waste I'm, in the gym. I'm a little fatty. I was saying this last week. Like I am a little fatty. I'm not anymore though. No, not I mean, I'm nice and light now. Yeah. Like I've only got about six key to lose to yeah. make weight. You know what I mean? Seventy six point six this morning. <laughs> but um, I just can't wait to to fight. You know what I mean? It's it's gonna be a bit mad. Like saying that when you fought in Dubai in yeah. uh, on Abu Dhabi. What mm-hmm. time was your fight there? Oh, lads, get on this. So England's like. England's GM time and then Abu Dhabi's three hours after that and then we was fighting Las Vegas which is 12 hours behind that so our schedules were just like fucked because we'd have to go to sleep at 8 o'clock wake up at 2 in the morning there train then go back to sleep and then wake up and then train and then try and stay awake for the rest of the day and like could you imagine us trying to wake Fishy up in the other room? Just what? <laughs> just waiting up. And I was just like, Fishy coming to train. Fuck banging off. on the door. Yeah. Banging on the door. He's like, no, it's Steve, the lodge is all away. <laughs> and, um, and little Simon, like his little eyes, be waking up. But uh, we got Ellis on the coffees out there then. Oh, he's um, still hooked on them now, isn't he? I know. He Every is. morning, then goes to go to the shop, goes, uh, you want a coffee, Ellis? Yeah, get yeah, us a coffee, lad. Get us a coffee. No cappuccino, no uh, He never used to have hot drinks at all. No. no and now I've got him on. on I remember, coffee. lads, like we had nothing to do in the room because we was boxed in. And I was just like, do you want an espresso, lad? And he was like, go on then. Do you know when he does that? Yeah. I went like that and he was like this. I was like, come on, lad, pads on the fucking balcony. He's like, that, 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 that. I'm going, lad. Caffeine I'm kid. on no calories here, you know. He's like, 10. <laughs> but um, it was like, we had this conversation, didn't we? In the gym, I said, I ate it, fight with no crowd in Abu Dhabi. And you're like, I'm two and oh, like, I'm not really yeah. arsed. And um, that's the only thing, like, I don't know, with us going to Vegas, the good thing is, lads, is we get to be proper UFC Central Apex. Yeah the PI and all that, but um, it's still, it's like a bittersweet that we're fighting in, in Vegas with no, with no fans. I was just about to say that, bittersweet, because if it was in the O2, imagine how lively it would have been me and you walking out, you know what I mean? Next it level, It would have just it? been next level. Oh, oh that would have been silly for the debut. But the only good thing I'm thinking of is, as you say, the PI, uh, the Apex, it's the UFC headquarters. Everyone's going to be there. That's I've never it. met... Dana or Hunter or Mick Maynard yeah. or Sean Shelby. So I'm going to have everyone in a headlock. <laughs> Lads, I, don't know, I can't wait for it. I was, who was I speaking to, Vince? I was like, because it's your debut, I'm not sure if you'd be on the prelims. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or where you'd be. So I don't know, but I probably, I don't even know who's still on the card and who isn't because I'm getting messages saying, oh, well, I've heard people's on Fight Island in October now and all this. And I'm just like, fuck, I'm just one of, like... Well, the, got... the, I know Nathaniel Woods not on it because he's broke his hand, mm. but that's that's the only person I've, as far as I'm aware, the card's the same. Then Aspinall's been added today. Yeah, I've, so... heard, I've heard that. I hate Gustafsson's eight or so. Like, I don't know, I've heard a few of them might not be or yeah. and all that kind of carry on. But wherever I am, I was like, I just wanted to make sure if you was on first or I was, that we still get to be in the, in the yeah, changes so together. Can, yeah, Because I, I know, like, when being brand new to 
Cage Warriors and you headlined and I was like, I opened the main cards and then got to watch your walk. I was how inspiring that was for me. And then I remember when I won the world title, you opened the main cards and then yeah. I got to do the walkout. <laughs> and I think the best thing about me and you in this city is like, like everyone gets right behind us, win, yeah. lose or draw. No matter that what. That walkout and, and the vibe that we bring and it's a proper house party. I reckon we're that, about. I, I, I'm not asked who they put on first, to be honest. I mean, yeah. you just make a difference to my life, but I reckon they're going to do a fight in between us. So that we can warm up, yeah. So we can get warm properly, and yeah. we can watch the other person still. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I hope they do that. I hope they don't put us right after each other. Because whoever's that, second, they'll just be standing in the back with no telly. Won't, won't they? Just waiting, <laughs> just stand. Oh, the, was the worst in Abu Dhabi. I was waiting for fishy. Um, like I remember, I can't remember who was speaking to. It was a journalist. He was going, "Why do you watch your, your training partners fight before you go on?" I was like, "Cause we're family. It's what yeah. we do." Because I remember when I fought for the world title, I came and sat cage side for yours. Yeah. And they like the BT was like, "Why have you done that?" I was like, "Cause it's his yeah. comeback they, one." Like, they, why they wouldn't you? They said people said the same to me. Why are you watching? Because you know, it's not all about me. Yeah. We're a team. We're yeah. a family. It's yeah. like. I don't understand that when people say that, to be honest, oh, why are you watching? Because they're my teammates. I train with them every day. I'm yeah. with them every day in the gym. Why wouldn't I want to watch them? No, I'm not. I get more nervous watching my teammates than I do fighting no, myself. No, I know, lads. I know. This... Well more nervous. I never get nervous with me and you, though, because I, I always think we can we pull it out yeah, the bag. and we cope it? under the pressure. Yeah. Well, where I, I just, whenever a teammates are fighting, I'm... I'm like that, you know what I mean? I'm twitchy. I'm like, whoa. Oh. Trying no, when not someone let gets on. on someone's back, I'm <laughs> sitting there like that, sucking my neck and that, shouting at the telly to do stuff. Oh, lads, it was murder when we was on Fight Island and Fishy was out and I was just like, I was watching it on the laptop. Waiting. Was he before you? He was before oh, me, that must yeah. have stressed you out, that. Oh, lads, it was just... I just seen what it had done to Rim and, like, I'd seen Fishy and when he came back and his, his little eyes were fucked and I was like... It's just it does deflate you, but um, it won't be like that with me. No, and you. it won't. Two and oh, two <laughs> and oh. Well, you'd have seen. Have you seen the next fight? Ireland's been announced. When is it? It's October, isn't it? Thirtieth. <sighs> I'm, th- I'm thinking about getting getting. On I am, but life. I need like. I need a good little like bender and a good little food in between. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going, so... Well, that's what I mean. That's why I want to. I want to get back for him. Oh, you're going away with Lauren? Yeah, I'm it? going to Cornwall with my bird and the dog. So uh... is Lenny going? Yeah. Like hey, that. tell them what you were shouting to me on the phone and Lenny was, like, trying to get on to Laura, do you oh, remember? Oh, yeah, it was funny. I was voice, I was voice noting Molly yesterday saying, oh, yeah, but, um, we'll be in tomorrow because we were going to do a Thursday, weren't we, and we've moved yeah. it to today. Yeah. And um, as I was sending on the voice notes, I'm going to hear Laura going, what are you doing? Fucking, get off me, you little fucker. <laughs> the dog was trying to hunt me birds out. <laughs> But I could hear the screaming in yeah. the background, couldn't I? And he was going, Haha, Molly's going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> it was I was like, is that. right, Lenny, lads. The dog's trying to pounce on a lad. It was proper funny, you know. I was yeah. laughing my head off. Uh, oh, oh, it's funny when his little lippy comes out, you know. His little lippy comes out, like, I get that away, you. You put know. that away, you put that away. You know I what I mean? Know. When was... she shouts at him, he just, like, looks at her. When I shout at him, he goes like that. Gets his little puppy dog eyes he out. He knows who the, who the guy is. He knows is. who the alpha male is. Doesn't he? He knows who the master is. I remember getting Frank and uh, Paddy was always like, oh, fucking be arsed with dogs and that. And then I was like, he got one. I was like, it's going to change your life, lads. He's like, yeah. no, no. And now it's like his son. It is. is it your son? It is basically my son. Yeah. I, I always wanted a dog, but I knew it would be hard work. But me, me mum, my mum was always against dogs. Was she? Yeah, my mum was just shit machines, shit machines. <laughs> no, shit machines, not getting one of them in this house. Shit machines, shit machines. And uh, so I and Laura's mum's the same. So we always said when we move out and that we're gonna get a dog. And practice we got, for the babies. We got Lenny. Yeah, there is. That's what everyone said. It's practice for having a kid. And um, when we got Lenny now, my mum's going out and buying stuff for him and buying him beds and that, and so is her mum, and he's, he's yeah. in his. He's in the his. grandkids. Yeah, basically <laughs> a grandchild now. It's Joan's first grandchild, my bird's, my bird's mum, yeah. So uh, she go like she go ra- round to her mum's of a daytime and the dog runs around the garden playing with Joan and Ronnie and that. <laughs> it's funny. At first, they were like, don't get a dog, don't get a dog. You know what I mean? They were mm. like, that's a Laura, don't get a dog, don't get a dog. And now that she's got it, they, they're like, Ronnie FaceTimes my bird. Three How's times a day. How's Lenny? How's Lenny doing? <laughs> How's Lenny? Oh, it's hilarious, you know. Makes you me laugh so life, much. Proper change of life for years. He's like my little child. I was saying to Laura, yeah, when you pick me up from the airport when I get make home sure from Vegas, make sure you now bring the now, dog. I'm... And she went, yes, she went, so what? You're going to want to see the dog and not me? I was like, 
No, I want to see both of you, yeah. obviously. No, He's but the beards take the knock. Me. Lads, the beards take the knock over the dog and you're missing the dog more. But like, it's, it's gonna, <laughs> it'll be like nine days since I've seen him and I know for a fact he's going to look about four yeah. months older. I know. Just because, and because it'll just, won't have been, even that 10 days isn't long, but with a dog, it is. It is, yeah, no, it is. Of course it is. I haven't even thought about, oh, lads, we've got a quarantine out there and everything I was saying before, like, you're in these hotels and they're off all right, but you're just like, you know, you're literally looking at the strip thinking, oh my God, there's like Gordon Ramsay's gaff and there's that and there's that. The way you mentioned that, Vince just been saying after we fought, I want to go to Gordon Ramsay's burger gaff. Lads, I'm not even, I'm not even messing with Yeah, I'll show you on my Insta story now, on my Instagram. Gordon Ramsay said he will cook us a dinner. When we win in Las Vegas. Oh, nice, that's us. Nice then, one, Gordon. Ben was saying before, um, he hasn't stopped going on about it. No, he hasn't stopped going on about it, Vince. He's, he's made up. But Vent was saying about that before. Vent was saying, like, oh, I want to go to go. He went, he said Gordon Ramsay's burger place. I went, no, it's something kitchen. Place. Is it Hell's Kitchen? Yeah, Hell's, Hell's kitchen. kitchen. But I was like, why would you want a burger? I think they just do good burgers. I went, why would you want they? a burger off Gordon Ramsay? I think of some of the food he could cook you. No, and I you're don't. saying a burger. It's like, you're mad. But mm-hmm. like, that's something that I am glad it's we're fighting in the morning because we get a oh full God, day. Oh my God, we're being We get a full day in Vegas and. I am just going to eat food all day. We'll go to in and out Burger first. Um, like on the way, on the week when we're cutting weight, we'll probably just do our little take-off of... Yeah, like Paul, Paul said, he was saying, um, the all-you-can-eat buffy in the MGM is meant to be unbelievable. Yeah, because they've got, like, lobster legs and, or claws or whatever they are. Yeah, I, I don't even like seafood, do I? I wish I did. I oh, wish I did, but I don't even like now. seafood. No, I like fish from the chippy. <laughs> Tuna mayo. What um, about the tempura prawn, lads? I like salt and pepper prawn from certain places okay. and salt and pepper squid from certain places. Okay, yeah. That, that's about it. You know what I mean? Like, it's the worst when you're asked for squids, right, and you're expecting rings, and then you get, like, a little octopus oh, with yeah, the fucking no, tenties yeah. and that. If that come, I'd be like... <laughs> take it back, kid. Not to do with me, that. I'm not paying for it. Yeah, get it off the bill. That. Get that off that bill. <laughs> but, yeah, that aim... Um, that Hell's Kitchen sounds like a shout now. Now, Therefore. do you know, um, when I was out there last time, just from what I was posting, they must just have bots online that just, like, follow you if you're in Las Vegas because yeah. they can see what you're hashtagging. And I, about five food courts followed me and I was like that. Oh, I was just gagging for macaroni cheese and I'd never have macaroni cheese, but I, I was just I'm, like... I love mac and oh, cheese, me. macaroni like. cheese... I love a bit of macaroni cheese, me. <sighs> that macro chef need the mac and cheese back on. He's saying this to Joel okay. for weeks now. I never had one, lad. I never oh, had they're heavy. A little bit of bacon and chicken in. Oh, it's heavy. A sausage dinner from the macro was yeah. the one, I think. I just can't stop thinking about food. It's got to that stage now, hasn't it? You know yeah, I mean? lads. What did I have? I need to... Three I weeks on Friday, we weigh in. And, like, now it's just... What did I put on before? All my Explore pages on Instagram is food. Flake, car. What is that? Caramel. Like a, oh, like well, a like caramel a fucking flake. flake. Jesus, tonight... I can't wait, me. Rimmer always buys me like a little chocolate bar after a fight as well. God, what was it like? It was like a lemon and lime dime bar last time. Or that I, I literally lost, lad. I lost that last fight, and he got me a crate of beer and a cream egg. I was like, I love you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite things, do you know what Sick I mean? That, you know, yeah, st- everyone was looking like, fuck. What do we do? That we ain't supposed to happen. <laughs> Get her a beer and a cream egg. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong with a cream egg, though. You're no, not wrong there. No. But in America, lads, it's all different because they own Cadbury's now, but it's just... No, it's I know I don't... Like, when I went to when I went to New York a few years ago with Chris, I don't think that, like... I think our chocolate's better. Yeah, they put too much sugar Yeah, they in. put too much madness in it and it makes it taste a, a bit weird. If anyone's seen Paddy in, Ve- in Vegas in New York, he's been like that. Oh, yeah. All the sugar we in it, pictures of me from, from New York. I'd fall, How like, much did you weigh there, lad? 88 key. Fucking hell, that's like 11 key on what you are now. Yeah. It's like over two stone. <laughs> yeah, stone and a half or something, nearly two stone, I swear. When you get pictures up from that New York, like when I was on the Ariel Hawani oh show there. Oh my God, everyone's everyone, like, fucking hell, Yeah, lads. everyone was just like, fucking hell, he's let himself go, Annie. He? He's let himself go, but I had. I was a fatty at the time, you know what I mean? You just won those, didn't you? Yeah, was it against Savitas yeah, and then you went away? Yeah, just won with that flying triangle. You just won the belt, you yeah. know what I mean? But that was the first time I remember that you'd done the proper weight course and no baths. Yeah, I didn't do a single bath So that it's like one. you proper starving all yeah, the time. I'd, I'd, I'd starve myself to get to the weight, no baths. 
But yeah, that's, I've got some funny pictures there, like bumping into Freddie Roach just on the road in New York, and getting a picture with him. And I was I like, fucking that. Chris was like that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Give him no what was boss about Freddie Roach though. Yeah. He, he stood there for ten minutes and chatted to Dizzy us. Lads. He wasn't like, oh, I've got to go. You know what I mean? Got a picture with us. Stood there, chatted. When we said, nice one for that, mate. Thank you. Another fella asked him for a photo, and he done the same. Stood there, Dizzy had a picture lads. with him. Not one of them where he's just like, oh no, so it, it hasn't got to his head. You know yeah. what I mean? He was just, he was and cool about best, it. And he's the best to ever yeah. do it, really, lads, isn't he? He is, he's up there now, like, isn't he? Yeah. Some of the, some of the coaches, he's, some, well, some of the some coaching, fighters, what yeah. he's done. But, he's doing bits with GSP now, isn't he? Yeah, he was doing he's bits up. with GSP for a while, wasn't was he? he? I, I think can't. he was. Well, that's another person who I bumped into in New York, wasn't Did he? Did you? Yeah. I haven't seen the pictures, uh, lads. I've got a picture with GSP, okay. he was in the blue basement, wasn't he? Oh, was he? Yeah, yeah. he was in New York in Danaher's, in, in, in Renzo's, the Danaher teaching. Yeah. Never got to roll with him or nothing, like, no. obviously. Uh, he just stayed in one corner with like Gordon and that. Yeah, and, um, they done their bits. Yeah, they done their bits in the corner uh, to make sure no one went bananas and injured them or not. Who, um, who does he roll with any of the big names over there? Uh, only Nicky, Nicky, you know what I mean? Roll with Nicky. It um, was a good tight roll, to be honest. Especially, yeah. I was, I was, as I say, I was fat at the time. No one caught no one. Yeah. But there, there was well, one... that's all right then, because yeah. I'm sure you, your wrist was done. Yeah, my well, wrist, really. I hadn't had it looked at, but I needed surgery. Um, and I've rolled it. I rolled it some fella called Jason Rowe. And anyone on the grappling scene will probably know him. A lot of people in New York will definitely know him. But I rolled with him and he was just a skinny fella. You know yeah. what I mean? As I say, I was fat at the time, so I thought, yeah. <laughs> he caught me in a sub and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get you back now. I'm going to get you back now. And he tapped me another four times. Did he, lad? In fact, I was like, what the fuck is going on what here? What did he get you with? Uh, mainly heel hooks. Oh, was you know it? I mean? Their leg games are yeah, a bit different ma- to ma- ours, Mainly heel hooks. At that time, I wasn't really doing them. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, as I come out, I can remember putting in the group chat to like Adam and Chris, lad, I have just been fucking smoked by some skinny fella there. Yeah. And one of them said, was, was this him? I'm screenshotting him and put him in. He's a Matt Serra black belt. <laughs> yeah. One of Matt Serra's first black belts, but he's meant yeah. to be um, unbelievable in the gym. Yeah. But in competitions, his head, his head falls off. Yeah. But then a few months later after that, I seen him winning belts on EBI and that. Did you? Know so, so yeah. I was like, oh, fucking hell, no wonder he was yeah. fucking world class. Yeah. Goes without saying. Yeah. Like the, the level in there was... Very high, of course. One person who I did spar with, that Gracie off Bellator. Did you? Name and Gracie, the yeah. middleweight or light heavyweight. Yeah. Sparred with him when I was fat, yeah. out of shape. And he never tapped me. Didn't he? No, he never tapped me. He got on top of me and then I got yeah. back up and he took me back down again. But as I say, I was a fat 88, 87 key <laughs> and he was a And you're not ripped, moving there. He was a ripped 90-something key. Probably on all the rest of it. Oh, well, yeah, of course. He? he fights for Bellator, doesn't he? So he's definitely on all the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. They get away with it on there. Like, yeah, they're all right, us, they're all right. Not us. No. I had my second one the other week, didn't I? Come in the gym on the Monday morning. Now, I've walked in and thought, oh, I've just had a wee. Because I've seen him with the pots out. And nah, I thought, it's a man, though, isn't it? So you yeah, can't even yeah, do no, it Yeah, no, but I've still had men do me before, but I thought... Um, oh fuck it's going to be dehydrated I'm going to be stuck here all day I've got shit to do but it was for you really. yeah it was for me luckily enough for me there he come in about 10 just after we'd started he come in yeah. so I just said to him we're going to finish about 12 I said I'll definitely need a piss by then mm. so I was just drinking as I was training it's funny it, though because I feel under pressure when they're there like yeah, I need to do. piss for them and that's taken away from me session I'm like oh yeah, I'll be honest I just tried to he, 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 the fellow was cool he said to me um don't worry, whenever you're ready, we'll do it. You know what I mean? So it's just mad, I think, standing in the toilet while having a piss on the fella watching you. It's just, it's a bit mad. It's a bit surreal. You know, know what I mean? Like, you get, do you know in Vegas, lads, you get, you get two or you might get three. <sighs> fight week pre and post. So Yeah, if, that's sad, nah. No, I no, it's better for us. Like I was saying to him the other day, I was like, I've only lost to drugs cheats. I was, well, I was saying this on um, on Instagram the other day to someone. The only loss I consider a real loss is my first one to Cameron else. Yeah. Because that motherfucker choked me asleep. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He put we me might asleep. see him at the fucking... Yeah, we, he's, I, um, he's in the UFC now, I remember he? him coming over to me. Paddy's a bit of a dick, but you're all right. I went, <laughs> who are you? Who are you? Like, who the fuck is that guy? He's like, I'm Mad. Ca- I know, Cameron. I remember the other week he was, ch- was like- he was chatting shit to me because Cage Warriors put something up. Like, that's nothing to do with me, lad. What are you on about? <laughs> Cage Warriors posted that. I mean, I'm you're out. coming at me chatting shit. I'm but, um, yeah, that's the only loss I consider on my record because with Nad, we've we had don't the- even need to say no, any more on like, that. We don't need the to say no more. I'm back. That. We don't need to say no more on that. Yeah. But 
and both of them fight, as well as them being Roy Deads. The first one, I got a DEXA scan, and I got told that I shouldn't have even fought. Being alive. Should, yeah, well, yeah, I should. <laughs> Sorry, as a mate. Yeah, <laughs> you're right, though. Shouldn't I shouldn't have been have alive. Left. With that one. I want to look at that result, you know. I still haven't had it. Like, Paul Reed's told me about it, but I haven't actually looked at it and seen what it said. Uh, well, like, I know what it says. Well, I know I was <laughs> I was 0. 0.2 kilo away from kidney failure. Yeah. And I was... I had the testosterone in my body of a 12 slash 13-year-old boy. No, lad, what I've... Like, because uh, I've had, like, um, studies on me and you've had, obviously had that one on you, and what it said was you should have actually not... Like, how you was alive... They said that you had no testosterone in your body. I'm fucking hell. So it wasn't even, even like then. a 12 or 13 year old. It was like nothing because you'd give that much to the camp. And like back in the days when we didn't know how to cut weight. And, the, and the, back in the day when we were fucking idiots and went to Nando's on the Friday night and got food poisoning. You know what I mean? <laughs> my, uh, my burps we, in the back of that fight when I was fighting that. Oh my God. We're, um, we're bands, aren't we? We're not allowed to go to Nando's yeah, or I was like a in the back and people were going, oh, who's fat at this? <laughs> We were proper eggy. It was disgusting. I was burping and like I never forget getting out the cage after that nad fight. So I thought I'd won that fight anyway. Got out the cage, went in the back, and she I spewed, spewed everywhere. everywhere. In the bin, I don't and remember. it was all black, and people were like, "Oh my god, lad, are you okay?" And I was like, "Nah." And I'm a doctor's taking me blood and that proper yeah. checking up on me. But as Paul Reed said, the uni should have said to me, "Pull out of that fight. Mm. You shouldn't fight." Yeah. Even though I would have said, "Fuck off." Fuck off yeah. You know what I mean? I would have said, "Leg it." Yeah. And then. The back fight, I had a broken hand. So, I one and of them like, things. And I think not a lot of the world knows that, like, our coach, Paul, as Paddy was about to make weight, like, was severely ill and nearly died. Like, yeah, he ended d- up in hospital. He didn't get to come and call me. Like, you had to take on a role as a coach and then coach everyone and then you had to headline and then fight. And it weren't, like, it weren't an easy thing. No, and you were still this close to fucking winning Tan still. Tan out to finishing him with a fucked up mean? hand. yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of people don't take that into consideration. Paul, literally. Like, well, well, I remember him saying to the doctor, he, he rang me and was like, Pad, I've just said to the doctor, I cannot stay in tonight. Yeah. I have a lad fighting for the world title. And he turned around and said to me, well, that's at your risk if you want to die tonight or yeah, not. Yeah, that's it. And I was just like, Paul, you've got kids. Stay in hospital. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was don't. bad way, it, lads? Because we was all like, I remember for days after, like, crying. But I'll never forget, it was me, you, Isaac, Ellis... Laura in that changing room when your dad came in after and he went, don't worry, son, yeah. you're the best in the world, don't worry, son. And we was just all crying for you and then about Paul thinking, fuck, like, is this the end of our... Imagine how, imagine how Paul felt, you know I what know. I mean? I know. Like, obviously, Paul would have... Paul half blamed himself for that loss. I know mm. he does. I know. Like, and it's not, it's not to do with him. There's nothing no. anyone could have done. It's only me in there, yeah. you know what I mean? It's nothing anyone else could have done. yeah. But, like, that's the only thing about that lightweight fight. Like, I didn't do any bats for that fight. And back had cut, like, five, six kilo. I know. Do so you like, remember the day before you made weight and, and he was me. like that, yeah. weren't he? Oh, no, no. When, we, when we weighed in, he was yeah. like that. You know but what the, I mean? I remember it... saying to him at the weigh-in, good luck, lad. And then the next day he come out and he was like that. I was like, oh, my God, is this a fucking different person? <laughs> Who is this guy? Check like, his veins for yeah. fucking track marks Who the there. the fuck is this guy? That's what I was thinking. Like, where is this dude come from? Because yeah. you was a shadow of yourself yesterday, you yeah. lad. Hey, he's got that fucking weight cut down, hasn't he? Yeah, like, I, I went into that fight the next day about 72 key, 73 key, and he was about 80. No, he was, lad. So, like, when he got on top of me, I was just like, what the fuck? fuck is this? I remember looking at you and he had you against the cage and you was like trying to do 100% and was just trying to get him off and you just looked at the, at the clock and you went, <laughs> <laughs> and then went back to it. Swear, but especially the- after that first when I squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and like at the, at the, I can remember saying to Ellis at the end of the first sitting down going, oh, I can't it. feel my arms. And then the second round I hit him with a punch. I'd had my hand done in the May 4th of the 1st of September like a fucking idiot. First punch I hit him within the second round, I went, oh my God, yeah. oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to have to go southpaw. Yeah. I had to go southpaw for the fucking rest of the fight. No, and was cabbaged. I know, there was some atmosphere in there, like to the last dying second. Oh though, yeah, it was, it was sick. Was going but off still way. to this day, I watched that fight back a few months ago, yeah. Did you? Yeah, I watched the fight back when I first got signed. Because I've never had a fight pass. I only got the, the free fight pass off the UFC now, I'm a fighter. Lads, I haven't even got... Like, I still pay monthly for mine. Do you? Just because I'm like, Fuck oh, that. How would you do it? You transfer it over. Oh. Well, no, Laura's the, Laura bought fight pass to get him... Um, to watch, to watch fight. my fights, yeah. yeah. 
So I still need to get her to cancel that, actually, I think. She's still, <laughs> she's still paying monthly for that. But, um, yeah, so I ended up watching that fight back. And I watched it and I was like, I won the first two rounds. Yeah. And that first round is a 10-8, eight, eight, if you've 100%. ever seen a fucking 10-8. Yeah. None of his rounds were 10-8. Yeah. They were all 10-9s. There's no way, I don't give a fuck what anyone says, there's no way any of them rounds are 10-8. No. The last 10 seconds where he's on me back and starts doing that doesn't evaluate a 10-8 for me because there was only 10 seconds left when he started doing it. So in my eyes, that's 10-8 to me, 10-9 to me, 10-9, 10-9, 10-9. That's, that's a, a draw. draw. I can remember the week later when Fran and uh, Nathan fought in Belfast. I remember Paddy Ulan coming over to me going, Pad, you had a tough look there, lad. He was like, I scored that fight a draw. I don't yeah. know how the judges never... And when I watched one back, mad, when yeah. I watched it back, one of the judges gave a 49-46. So he never even gave me a 10-8 round for the first round. Mad that, lad. I mentioned it to Ben Cartlidge at the last cage where he was like, lad. And he went, no, all, all three judges give a 10-8. I went, they couldn't have, lad. Because when I watched it back, one of them was 49-46. So there's no way that they were all 10-8s. I remember being sat from row. I think me, I was sat with Fishy and Daniele. And uh, when you got when you sunk the Ryan Akers in, and when it's done, we was just all like, it's yeah. done, it's done. And then do you remember when Rimmer made us practice from that same position? Going face down. Face down and, and to do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what give him his due. Fucking hats off to you, Sharon, lad. Serious. Nine, 99 out of 100 people there, tap. Um, he never, yeah, he was like, he had that Viking strength yeah, in there, didn't he, lad? Anyone else in that situation, he'd tap. Like, but... Saying that they don't, because me and you wouldn't, we go asleep. We go asleep, yeah. Pat, we do. We go asleep, it's it that fun, simple. Uh, it funny when, when me and you won in the Echo, won our world title, and then the next fight we we both got done. Yeah. <laughs> the only scousers to win world titles <laughs> to win world in the Echo. In there, and, and then the next fight, get beaten there. Yeah. Fucking sound. Like, <laughs> I know, oh, yeah, but it's the comeback. It's all yeah, about the it journey. Is. It's all about the comeback. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to have to ask you a little question, what I got, um, what I got sent. Yeah. Uh, what was it like growing up in Norris Screen? And what did they say in particular? Was it in the, the bowl? The bowl, yeah. yeah so the bowl um, in particular. So me and my nan and my granddad used to live in the well, all of our families from Norris Green to be fair and Kirby, but there's like a a like it was a little park, a little green, a little bowl shape. And that's just where I remember growing up, lad. And like when I used to play for Liverpool, I'd go and like say training was at five. In the summer holidays, I go and play with the kids and like coach them on the greens, you yeah, know what I mean? And then go to, go to training or when I wait to go to boxing because St. Teresa's ABC was just like four roads away, we'd all just be having it in the bowl. And <laughs> it's, um, it's fo- like, <laughs> I don't know, funny story, fell over. Um, I was like, oh, looked at my leg, there was a needle in my leg. I'd like fell onto an empty needle. Oh, you're fucking messing. No, I'm not even. How old was you then? About seven or eight, I had to be rushed to the Aussie blood transfusion, everything in case oh I had caught AIDS. I mean, that's the only bad thing I've got to say <laughs> about the bowling, but um, I was safe, <laughs> I'm negative. But um, I remember his name, Jonathan, the photographer. I'm sure yeah, he's yeah, been he's, in touch with you. Yeah, he's coming to do uh, some BBC some stuff, film, isn't he? Yeah, he um, before my last fight, he was like, Can we do a day shooting of you? And I was like, Yeah, he was like, Take me to where it feels like home for you in Liverpool. So we was like, we was in town, like by the cathedral and that, by Tocchi. And then I was like, not as green. And I just took him to this bowl, to the bowlie. And I just started crying because I was like, being that kid and this is, I grew up in like the Reese Jones time and they used to just be like a, a permanent matrix van just on the bowlie. Yeah, and like, there. it was just, it was rough because everyone was just shooting everyone. And I just remember being there thinking, fucking hell, like it used to be so much bigger. Like I left there when I was like eighteen, and I was thinking the house is like we walked past my house, which is just by the bowl, and it just seemed so small. Do you remember when you're like you're a kid yeah, growing up and you look at like, massive, innit? You're like a fucking hell of course it was well bigger yeah, than that, but it's not. Because it obviously was... you're smaller, everything just looks yeah. massive, just like time. Yeah, time. It, just it seems like it lasts forever when it you're the kid. Like your six weeks holidays felt like nine, nine months. months. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And like I now, know. weeks just fly by. Lad on the bowl in the summer holidays, we'd wait to read the van and we had the Moby. Did you ever have one of them by yours? It was like a white van came round and bread, all the drinks. sweets, drinks. Nah, we, we had one with that, all like tapes. The, all like the green lemonade and stuff like yeah, that. But like that was the, by my grandma's on page, Moss. Was you know it? What I mean? was yeah. the cream sodas and yeah, all that? Yeah, all that. And all the blueberry drinks Ooh, and that. Oh, yeah. What was the, the cherry one as well? I used to like the cherry one, me. 
I used to remember the twisty tops. Yeah. I'm like, can I have a tempe mix, please? I used to, I, my favourite thing about being my grandma's is no matter what, every Friday night she gets an ice cream from the icy man. And that's something that you hardly see anymore. Oh, I well, know. Icy vans. Like, I know. Even by me, by me mum, I've only moved for about five minutes around the corner, <laughs> but even by me mum's, there's no icy van comes around no more. By ours, there's no icy van no, that comes around. No, it's just around. the milkshake yeah. shops now, all, isn't it? Yeah, milkshake. But all you see now is them on the beach, schools. Yeah. They don't move. <laughs> you've got, you've got, a va- you've, you've got an ice cream van. Get about in the van, lad. Don't uh, sit in one place. Do you know what's his name? Ron Weasley, the man who plays Ron Weasley yeah. in the Harry Potter. Do you know we bought an ice cream van? Goes out, drives it and does all that. Scouse. I was thinking, oh, I'd well be into that. I'd yeah. be like, cookie dough, yeah. And then, like, put the top on. I would definitely want to Don't even start them. talking about desserts. <laughs> Them desserts, man. Woo. We're going back to the beginning again, aren't oh, we? Oh, we are. That, no, that, I know. That, that's how you know we're so close to fight, though. Like me and him, but we've we'd have changed our mindset to be fair because it used to be like fucking everyone got it in the neck and they like fucking yeah. don't fucking look at me, blah blah blah. But we would have like ten of us in the same camp together yeah. at the same time, so it'd be going off and sparring. But now it's like, well, no one's asked us to do, no one's forcing us to fight. It's kind of our decision. Yeah. And as you get older, you become more disciplined to your diet. Where like back in the day, you go. Three weeks out, fuck it, we'll still go and get an ando. It was like, yeah. I wouldn't dream of that now, past no. like six weeks. Like, like six weeks, you might still have I'm a, a the, roast dinner. I'm enough. exactly the same as you there, literally, when the six, like, because a few weeks ago, when it was sunny and that. Like, we was I, having like ice lollies in the gym yeah, and that. We, we, I'm like, because lads, it was 34 yeah, degrees. It was like eight, seven weeks out, and like, I was doing the same thing every week. I was getting my weight down to like eight, like, 81, 80 through the week. <laughs> and then I'd just have a normal weekend. And, and then I'd come, come back, back in 85. <laughs> no, I'd come back 85 because I'm a fat little fucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. when it was Sam and uh, Sam had a, had a barbecue in his not that long ago. Oh, he was going, I've just had a sausage and a burger with no bun. I was like, right, lad. I was it like, no, what was the worst one I had them all? What? I had a piece of pork belly. Oh, that's what he was saying. Sorry, and I checked the pork how many belly. calories were in the pork belly, and oh my god! After I looked at the packet, I was like, "Oh Whoa. my fucking god!" <laughs> was it Chinese like, flavor or what? Yeah, like five hundred calories in a third of the pack. I was like, "I've just done the whole pack." No, nah, I, I did <laughs> only have a third of the pack, like, but I'd also had an M and S duck burger <laughs> with bread, <laughs> yeah. um, two lamb koftas, um, an hot dog. And a hot dog without without the bread. Because when everyone's drinking and that, you just think, right, I'll just nibble. It's only yeah. meat. It's only exactly. meat. Exactly. It's only meat. It's no. protein. It's only meat. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? And it's just like, nah, everyone else is on the booze. I'm sitting there on them Ribenas with 20 calories in, oh, thinking, yeah, I'll just drink these and eat food, drink these and eat food. That Sunday, though, I just took the piss because I went back around to Laura's after it and she hadn't had a tea yet. Joan ended up doing his chicken burger and chips. Oh, did you just think, it's a few lolly ice, yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, fuck it. I had a few lolly ices. Then what else did I do? She got Joan whipped this bread out. <laughs> this brioche loaf. What already had bits of chocolate in. Shut up, lad. Did you get custard on it, it or Oh, no. Nutella. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, and then I'd nailed two pieces of that and I was like, any more of that, Joan? <laughs> I had another two pieces. That was about a thousand calories on its just own. On just, itself, just them, lad, just the yeah. Nutella and the bread. And then I ended up going home and Laura's falling asleep on the couch and I'm just like... I reckon there's one more thing downstairs there. <laughs> I made five Weetabix. Lads! Five Weetabix. Sugar on or what? Oh, of course. Yeah. If you have Weetabix without sugar... Right, careful what offender. you're allowed to say, yeah. <laughs> right, and we'll talk about that. <laughs> I will. I come in the gym, right? I, everyone knows me. I have a Pepsi Max, and Paddy's like, "You're an absolute sex offender." Like, who drinks Pepsi Max? I was like, "Lad, it's my absolute favorite." <laughs> I, I'll be honest. I wish, I wish I liked um, diet drinks. I know you hate them, lad. I don't them. you? I proper hate them. I can't have any. The only ones that I can have is like diet Red Bull and or diet a Monster on the or sly, a isn't it? Yeah, yeah, one of them. They're the only ones I can have. Yeah. Like, if someone. What do you do for caffeine in the morning? I've started on the Neuroptimax, haven't I? Oh, have you? Usually I don't have shots. caffeine, do I? Usually no, I just come in with no brekkie and strain. UFC, like, right, here's a question for you. I know it's your podcast, but I've never even asked you this. Have you seen a difference in your training? Because I, I can see it, but 
from Cage Warriors to the UFC? Yeah, I can. Because like, well, you can see it in your body. You can yeah. see in what you're looking like. Do you know have, what I mean? Like, you can't argue with it, can you? I've, I've stepped my training up and yeah. it's... It's not even like I've, I've meant it. It's like subconsciously. It's just, it happens, you know what I mean? doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it just yeah. happens. Like, now, now that we are in the UFC, I, I need to keep my weight down more. Because like, as I was saying, some, I was telling someone this yesterday, last time I fought, I only done about two or three pounds in a bath, which is nothing. I've done 18 pounds in a bath. Um, I was, good day in the office, that lad, yeah, isn't it? I, I, I weighed in 70 when I fought Martinez. Before I left... To go to the venue in the hotel, I was 78, which is sad. I, but in that hotel, I did stuff my face with jam on toast and brekkies and that, yeah. So I was a bit bloated going into the fight. But that's just me. I'm a, I'm a reckless fat dickhead. But, um, <laughs> but you won't, like, you won't for this next Yeah. One. Uh, and then the next Sunday, I was 89.6. Lads, I remember, I literally, we was all watching the fight, you done it. We knew you was going to get signed because we all knew before the fight. Yeah, we knew we were winning this fight, it's happening. Yeah, and then I remember Paddy came in and I was like, oh, I was like, are you all right? It's like I thought he'd had something wrong with his glands. His fucking face was like that. He was like, no, it's the, the cookie box, man. Yeah, <laughs> the, cookie just, man. The, cookie the cookie man. The cookie man is the boy. Isn't he? He just he does, does, boy. He does just you bits, does, oh, doesn't he? Unbelievable. I've been messaging him the last few weeks saying, lad, go away. Go Didn't away. he start still trying to send you nah, stuff? Nah, he, he sent me one the other week, but that was like eight weeks out. So yeah. that was, it wasn't too bad. But as I say, people look at me and think, oh, he won't need that much. Lad, when I get a box off him, I'll it's eat... It's all on yourself, I'll it? eat three things in one sitting. Yeah. And they've all got like a thousand calories in each. Now, no I'll one, understand, no one, one understands fighters have got like a... Eating disorders, disorders. Yeah, proper eating bad, disorders. Bad. I know for a fact when I retire, I'm going to be like Ricky Atten. I know I am. I yeah. can't help it. Laura's like, you won't, you won't, you won't end up like that. I'll make sure, and I'll like, let's see, <laughs> let's see, I because know. I can't help myself. I know. Like Chris, Chris Williams says it to me. He's like, lad, you're not even like, it's not that. It's just you're a fat, greedy little bastard. You yeah. know what I mean? But that's from years of, of often starving to, yourself. Of start, like yeah. us doing it wrong. Like but... that's why now I don't reckon. I'm saying I'm just about to say I don't reckon I will do with this fight, but I fucking probably will. Well, like if this the is biggest the lie I ever told. <laughs> <laughs> See, we both went to say it at the same time. Like we, uh, this time, I'll keep it yeah. down. But I remember, like I was saying I used... at the last fight, I was like, this time I'm gonna keep it down. I know I'm gonna get signed after this. I'm gonna keep it down. Like when the UFC got on, well, when Graham rang me on the Monday yeah. after the fought on the Saturday, saying got got news for you, blah blah. Yeah. Like I went for a run on the Tuesday, the Thursday, and the Saturday. Because it was like, I know I'm going to eat pure shit this week, but I'll, I'll run. I still went up to 87 key. You no. know what I mean? Even mm. though I was, even though I ran six miles, three days, I'd done 18 miles that week. Yeah. I still I still weighed fucking ridiculous amounts. But it will but change But it's because though. of the ridiculous amount I eat. No, it is. Like, it's when probably I'm, just in your belly, to is, be fair. Yeah. Like, oh, I can remember it, like, eating, like, one day I had a brekkie where I had five bacon, four sausage, three egg, four ash browns, Two pieces of toast, two fried bread, um, beans, and because it wouldn't fit on the plate, I had to have my tin tomatoes on the bowl and next to it. Like, you think and at the end of it, I to, and at the end, I turned to the order and go, let's get one of these dessert out. <laughs> and then that night, I put, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be grazing a chocolate all day. I can eat like three big bars of chocolate at once. I'll be grazing at them all day. And then in the night, we'll go for a chippy, we'll get home. But like when I say go for a chippy, I don't mean I'll get one meal between us. We get four meals. And they'll all be done. Yeah, and they'll all get it. If not, gets put out the side for an hour, gets warmed up. <laughs> and when that gets warmed up, you get right back on the desserts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dipping chocolate bars in Nutella. Oh, oh lads, I'm just fucking I am, I'm sitting here now thinking I hope. I'm I like, hope what sitting time's here. dinner? What? I've got two hours. I hope, I I hope sitting here. Is like talking about food is helping burn calories. <laughs> like tonight in ours, everyone goes round to ours on a Wednesday. It's me only night, only night my mum has, has off, you know what I mean? Yeah. So go round to ours on a Wednesday and our Kirsty's making a lasagna tonight. And her lasagna is power. Is it? When I say power, I mean power. So because I've only had 700 calories so far today, I'm thinking, can I have a little bit of like, lasagna? I like, you've got 6K, like, you know what I mean? I'm half, I'm half thinking about it, haven't it? But, I was speaking to my mum the other day. They're hilarious, you know. Like, they just don't get it. 
No, mum's to... nan's still trying to feed you up and yeah, you're like, I'm to... not allowed. Yeah, I went to my mum. Tell Kirsty to count the calories in it for me, mum, and I'll, and I'll let you know if I can have some. She was like, yeah, just get up on the internet how many calories is in it. <laughs> I went, what? I went, Kirsty is making it. How can I get up <laughs> on the internet? Kirsty's lasagna. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get up. Kirsty Pimlet's lasagna recipe. Uh. Boom. Only, oh, yeah, that's how many calories is in yeah. it. Only it's like she's gone and have to see how much mint she puts in it, <laughs> how many pasta sheets, how much cheese. But our case, the uses a full block of cheese on the top of it, and that. Good girl, know what I mean? Good girl. Is so she like, on the garlic bread and cheese oh, as well? Oh, of course. Don't ask silly questions. Oh, Don't ask silly questions, Mal. What is it? We, we haven't, lads. Well, that's what I mean. The other day, I had a... Laura's mum makes this bosslet. I think it's that... Is it Courtney Black or something? That PT bird? They've got well, yeah. She's got an app, and like you get oh, recipes. Oh, Davina was get showing re- me. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah, recipes yeah, off yeah, it, yeah. and um, she's got this lasagna recipe. Sweet, <laughs> no, but it's it's only got like three hundred calories oh, in. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's good gear. I had that on Sunday. I just had it with a plate of veg, but I'm just like, because oh. like, of being that expo, I'd hardly had anything that day. I don't know, and um, after it, Joan was putting the strudel in, so Laura just went, "Come on, let's go," because she knows full Did well that, that I'll be was... like. It's like, what oh, do we do, isn't lad. it? It's like taking an alcoholic who's clean into the pub it is. and saying it's a That's free bar. That's exactly what it's like. like that. Fuck. Itching. And then if you eat it, you go home and you feel like... And you regret. Oh, mate, shall I just go and spew... Like, shall I go make myself sick in the like toilet? On, on that there? last fight, no, though, I was saying, like, as we say, you step it up a bit when it's the UFC. Yeah. On that last fight against Martinez, I fought him on the 20th of March and it was my dad's birthday on the 22nd, the 60th. So, went round to ours... Um, I had a, we had our tea in that day, we all had a laugh. But, and Jackie, I hate you for this. My <laughs> mum, this by the way. Since I've moved out, the chocolate drawer is Gentry. absolutely rammed oh, is it? with the heaviest chocolate. Is it? Whisper Golds, Dairy Milk Oreos, and I'm like, where was this when I lived here? Like, where, where was this? And she's like, oh, you were the veteran also. I didn't get it. <laughs> got all damn dairy milks and um, salted caramel galaxies and that. So when I go to art, like, that day, like, obviously, with my dad, Bertie, we had the cheese board out and all that. So I was eating cheese and crackers. Yeah, yeah. Eating cheese and crackers and that. You have or, a wine and that with Laura now, don't you? No, well, when you go on your Friday night dates and well, that. Well, oh, it's funny, you know, when, um, when we was in Turkey the last night, she went, just get a wine with me. So I did. <laughs> Got a wine with her. And like, you know, because I didn't like it, yeah, I was just, just going. Just necking it, yeah. I swear we got in Laura the... loves a wine. Is loves it a rosy? Rosy, rose, is it? Yeah. Loves it. When we, I swear, when we got in the taxi home, I was like... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Whoa, what's going on here? What is happening here? Ed was gone. Yeah. Got back to the hotel room. I had to lie down on the bed. I was just like, and Laura's like... You're faking this. You, you're doing this so you don't have to pack. You're doing this so I've got to pack your case. I'm going, Laura, I am not. Like, I was in a bad way. Yeah. Like, I've the never wine, seen anyone. I've never it? seen anyone drink wine like her. Ever. I've puts never, it away well, she? She puts it away. I've watched her drink three bottles of wine. Have you? Yeah. Still and going? still be sad. Like, my sister go, I'll like... i two glasses in. I kissed me and I'm Janelle and that go to her. Like, just, how many bottles are you on there? You know what I mean? And, like, she's like, yeah, that's my third bottle. It's just normal to her to drink wine. <laughs> know what I mean? It's mad. I ended up running the bog and spewing. She was going, oh, yeah, you're not blagging it. It's like, I know <laughs> yeah. I'm not blagging it. I wasn't blagging it the whole time. Hey, the hangover's rough off a of wine. Like, it's in your teeth and that. Yeah, like... that's what we well, had to get up the next morning. And, and uh, luckily enough, I'd... Um, no, the way you make it, before you went to bed. Yeah, <laughs> they make you check out early, don't they, in yeah. the morning. Luckily enough, I'd, um, I just started speaking to a fella there, Omar, who was there with his missus, and... Uh, he was a belter and uh, he's been down the gym since because he, yeah. he works for Lucas Aid, works for Lucas Aid Sport, like a cool. marketing fella. And he's come down and done pra- a little few pad sessions in the gym with me, yeah. boss. Luckily enough, he said, hey, put your stuff in our room, lad, put your stuff in our room. So we put our stuff in his room and he let us get a shower and that. Proper scouser. No. So, even though he's a cockney, yeah. but proper scouser was, was great. It's great when you meet people on Aldi, you know. I, know. I always, no matter what, I always end up meeting a scouser no, on Aldi. We meet them everywhere. We're everywhere. Everywhere. Lads. When everywhere. I went to, when we went to Mexico, we met three different couples. I remember, like you ended up being pure best mates with yeah, them ever since. With three didn't couples you? Yeah. Uh, in Turkey, we met Lee and Natalie. Still speak to them in Thailand. Last time we met Megan and Lee. Luckily enough, there's the one that got the videos of us getting oh, engaged getting in the engaged, pictures. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like everywhere we go, we bump into scousers. It's mad. It's funny that isn't. And look, like, you just don't expect it. 
It's proper, it's proper weird. Do you remember, lad, when I lost in the UFC? I remember um, I just fucked off to the Dominican thinking, oh, no one, I'm not going to have to speak about getting fucking put to sleep in the echo. <laughs> Literally land in the Dominican, <sighs> sit on the thing. I've, we stayed at the same hotel, yeah, didn't we? But yeah. at a different time. I'm on my way and as we sat there, I was with Paige at the time, as we sat there, just got a knock on the shoulder, just looked and he went, unlucky about Sunday, love. I was like, oh my God, no matter, you can't no go No matter where nowhere. you go, you can't go anywhere, swear. You can't go nowhere. Like, you can't go nowhere. I'd done the same when I was in when I was in Mexico. Literally, we went to see the old pyramids, you know, like the, the Aztec Didn't pyramids. Didn't you have the thing on your arm, lads? Yeah, Do you remember? I had the big cast on my oh, arm. On, in Mexico. I know, no big... good. Uh, <laughs> and as I, we were walking... What well, literally walking through like a rainforest, a rainforest in Mexico, going to walk up this um this Al Aztec pyramid. Yes, lad, what's on and pad? Oh, are you all right? It was just like, oh my god, you can't get away from us <laughs> anywhere we go. You know what I mean? You literally, you can't get away from us. I know. Look at that, that Pepsi Max getting finished there. Oh, fucking starving. Hey, that thing is hungry. hungry. That's, what someone, that's what someone else wanted me to say. Um, <laughs> How, how hungry is Hesky? Someone asked me to ask it. I know, we love two dogs, Lars, don't oh, we? But great. I swear to God, my life changed forever when I see him come Hesky. That I've got my hoodie in my bag there, my two dogs hoodie, because I ride my bike on it. You oh. know what I mean? I've got it in my bag there because it's cold on the bike. That's the one I walk Franken, but... Have you seen the other video? I, honest to God, I heard it and I was dying. I was putting it on... Everyone's training in the gym and I come in later, don't I? An yeah. hour later. And um, it's like, jars of the telly, don't just fall oh my down God. the stairs. That one, I swear <laughs> to God, that video. Like, Fucking, my family's bullies or something, ain't Mara you? and Carney and Jack and Sam and that, oh. we, we have a group chat. And when that got put in a few weeks, a few months ago, we was all like that. Uh, they was like that. Jazz Nutella don't just smash the way I fucking hate my own family. <laughs> They're all rats, dirty, horrible cunts. I hope they die. Punces. Like, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, your family die because they've ate your have Nutella. <laughs> You're nuts, you kid. You're but I, I was bench. like, who is this girl? I need to meet her. Yeah, she, she If like, you're out there, love. At Meatball Molly or at Paddy the Baddy, find us. Get on us. us. Yeah, we need to know, I will give you a yeah. fucking jar of Nutella, love. Yeah, yours. more than a jar of Nutella. I'll sit there with you and dip chocolate bars <laughs> in and eating it with you. We'll have a right hard laugh. But that, and it, what, what we should say is anyone who owns any business for food restaurants or dessert gaff, we're going to need filling up oh, after yeah. our fight. So, look, we'll even do another episode of this in rating, your gaff. Yeah, rating food. your oh, food. Sitting here, <laughs> eating it, rating it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. something I do want to do that I've mentioned to Paul and that, I'm, I'm hoping that next week I can get Paul on. Could you imagine then, that? I know, some of the stories Paul's got, that might have to go over an hour, that one. I like, know, that yeah. one might have to be a bit longer. But I'm out, because I'll have, obviously we've just done it. I had Adam last week. Um, get Paul on. I've already had Simon on. Have you? Oh, yeah, he loved, yeah. yeah, the only person I wouldn't have had on, which, but he... Ellis, he'd be hard to get a conversation exactly. out of. Just it's mad, but people say he doesn't talk much, does he? I think. No, we're us, he so talks funny, a lot. Yeah, but he doesn't but in front of cameras, he's like, you know what I mean? He's a little bit. So, what I want to do is when we get back from Vegas and we go two and oh, I want to get all six of us, all six of us, and just talk about Vegas. We should have a few pints before we oh, do Oh, yeah. Well, and when something. we do that one, oh, I should have heard Ellis. Ellis went, yeah, no one in this studio then, like, when we get back from Vegas, can, can we have it like Mike Tyson's hotbox? <gasps> and I just sit there whiffing. <gasps> Could you imagine? Imagine that in here, just like I'd be that. like, well, I can't smoke, but I'll have an edible. Yeah. <laughs> Swear that would be hilarious. But as, a, as, you, like just, as uh-huh. you just said, though, Mo, any, any, uh, any scran gaffs want to supply us with food for that day while well, all six of us are sitting here having a laugh because that is going to be one funny episode the that, you know, box, six Vegas of us just sitting there out. laughing our heads off, Literally. talking about Vegas, talking about beating people up in Vegas gonna be sick because the best stories like uh like we've got some funny stories and about weight cutting and fight weeks and they're the best they're the worst time of yeah, your life for how you time. feel but the best like when i always think about all of us cutting weight like like there was one time with me paddy and ellis literally one was in the bath one was in like a rap sheet and one was dying lying on the and floor. we was just doing like fucking the triangle, piece, just we? switching switching and then switching. the funny ones with pad eh, with fucking fishy where He's like, I need to get, I need my fingers out the yeah, walls. And he, and and he just, that. <laughs> he literally, he's getting dunked in by everyone. He's like, just let me get my fingers he's out. He's so funny, you know, he when he gets fu- going, he, he made me laugh so he much, was, you know. Yeah, he was so funny. funny. 
Oh, what a, what a guy. But they the stories, yeah, aren't they, Some lad? of the stories like that are just absolutely hilarious. I know. Imagine getting Adam Wilson on here. <laughs> He's like, our Wilson is like gossip central, isn't yeah, he? He, he is. knows it all. He knows it all. He's got that many different people in, in for his private. He knows everything. He knows everything, knows everything about, everything everyone, about anyone in any part of the city. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm on him. Oh, yeah, I'm on him. <laughs> oh, yeah, what about that? Oh, yeah, what about him? Hey, uh, did you hear about that one? Yeah, he's yes, sick. Yes, Wilson. You've got to love Wilson. Like, he did he fail his test nine times. He's passed now. So what? Got, he failed it that many times? I'm, I'm sure it's something like nine times. See, that's what like, I need to hurry up and do, you me, know? Me, you and France, just never driving, lad. No. We're never driving. I need to hurry up and do it, swear to God. Me and you would both get cars for nothing. No, no. At least company would be like... we get lucky scooters and lucky bikes for yeah. nothing, so like a car would be easy, wouldn't it? But Anyone know anyone who wants to... Who's a driving... Not a driving instructor. One of the fellas who just passes you... Get on me, lad, and I I'll know. book in with you. Just pass us. If Scousers can get fake pa- vaccine, vaccine passports, passports. Then, then we've got to know someone yeah. in the DVLA. We've got to know someone in the DVLA who can mean, get us past. <laughs> know what I mean? Get me on a crash course with someone there. But, like, when drive, I was... lad, I just can't do the fucking hazard the... awareness. Nah, with, with me. press the wrong fucking... I was doing lessons just before COVID kicked in, and... I don't even want to do a manual because I know for a fact in the next ten years, in the next ten years, all cars are going to be auto anyway. Yeah. Do you want that? So I was just doing an automatic, it's like driving a go kart. I literally. said, I said, to all you need to do is to be the road. two feet driving like crashing and everything. Yeah, it's literally, it's it's like driving a go kart. All yeah. you got to do is know the rules of the road, and that's it. Sorry, you haven't sorry. got to fucking change it. My bird always says it to me. Ah. Fucking wouldn't know how to fucking drive. You know, you're doing it. I was like, because everything's going to be auto, yeah. and now where she's had. Well, she's had that cat, that GLA now for two years, and she's manual. She's like, oh, I want an automatic. I want oh, an do automatic. You, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> do you? Do you want to get rid of that clutch? Do you? Ah, oh, you little tit. Yeah. Should have listened to me, shouldn't you? <laughs> Swear. Does it have cruise control on it? Uh, no, doesn't. But that's what the automatic. That's for like for motorways, though, when the cruise control stuff. She's. Oh, no, but give, if you're going to Devon, lads, yeah, you're only going to hear about Give her a Jew. Give her a Jew. She drives. She does. Everywhere. Like when we went to Cornwall. Six hour drive. Does she moan? She has a little moan. Not not too bad, don't You're she? You're just probably sat when there I thought... like this on your phone though, aren't you? Uh, Daddy, talk to me. <laughs> I, I've just got the tunes on. You know I, mean? have you? I have the tunes on. Like last time on the way to Cornwall, I think I fell asleep for 20 minutes and I just felt a kick. You know what I mean? I felt an elbow. Fucking like, get fucking up, get up lads. now. <laughs> yeah, if you're falling asleep, I'm going to fall asleep. Fucking get up. You know I mean? I'm just like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not driving. Why do I have to be awake? I'll pay the petrol. You yeah, drive. I'm paying the petrol. I'm doing all this. You just drive. It's all you've got to worry about. No, no. Fucking you best stay awake with me. I took a pillow on that and like just to stay comfy and then. Obviously, I didn't Paddy even get a chance to use the pillow. Anyway. Yeah. You can, though, can't can you? can fall asleep on a washing line, me, like. <laughs> Our gym gets, like, minus two in the winter, doesn't it, lads? And sometimes we're all fucked if you've got a fight camp and you're just, like... <sighs> Like looking round, Paddy is just like that in the in the in the, in the position. office, right? And the the sofas like springs are coming out, absolute oh, breaking yeah, back the, the material, just isn't it? Apart. And Paddy's just there like that. That's another one for us as like well, isn't it? He's just over him. The way yeah, was, anyone wants a yeah, sofa. Anyone's got anyone's given him any art any art couches? Couch. Any art couches? <laughs> anyone's given them away? Let what us else know. Do we need? In the gym. <laughs> need fucking all sorts, don't we? Yeah. Need upgrades on a lot of things. We need a fucking vending machine. We need a vendy. That's up. Well, you and you just need a coffee machine. I'm sick to death of watching Ventry walk to Starbucks and cost it and waste his money. It makes me feel fucking sick. Like, well, oh, I'm like God. sponsored by Knockout and I'll bring the crates in sometimes if it's a flavour I'm not into and you just see them everywhere. Oh, I know and what then I tried the other Vent day. And looks at me and I'm like, it's not me. I tried one the other day, an apple one. Heavy. Apple one? Heavy. Did that, um, that would have had no caffeine in though? I haven't got a clue. I'd, you know me, lad. I remember. Me a oh, no, don't. I had one with no. I brought one to the gym one day, no caffeine in it. I was like, that. You want to see me go when I'm. If it's that time of the month and I'm cutting weight, people want to talk about pressure. No one's. You're, you're about to feel it, but you'll understand now. There's, there's a pressure of being an amateur. There's a pressure of yeah. being a professional. There's a pressure about being a Cage Warriors world champion. Then there's the pressure of being in the UFC. And no one's really got to carry that apart. Apart from really me and Fishy and now you, do yeah. you know what I mean? So you'll see people. Me and you are perfectionists in the gym, always have been. So we'll get fucking fuming if we don't get it right. But we'll start to see that in the gym now, because you know, like our boys are now getting like the camera crews are coming in on like Nathan and Giddens yeah. and starting to get Adam, the recognition he deserves. Yeah, and it's like 
it's good because they must just used to think, oh, fucking hell, the camera's yeah. in again. But now they're starting to understand I said that this it, literally it comes last, part and part, in, but it's good. In the last get... episode, Vince said, you know, a lot of people in the past, they're like, we've had good teams in the past. We've had brilliant teams where some people have just went on to the UFC and stuff like that, but... This crop of fighters we've got now next is level, isn't it? it's next level. It's this the, is like five most, years yeah, together. The non-stop, most professional isn't it? group of group of fighters that we've ever had, yeah. and they're all young. Colin Fletcher, Athletes. Ben Gittens, Gittens Fran, Fran Connor, Connor Wilson. Know what I mean? They're all they're all coming, and it's yeah. gonna be heavy. I said like I said on um, on last week's episode that I know for a fact the next two years we're gonna have five UFC fighters. Hundred percent. Easy. I'm not sure if we said. Liam Malloy as well oh, just in case, one that we've got, in case yeah. just cause I know that little southpaw yeah. fucking bad my hand. brother fucking... but um, I know it's funny watching you spar he's done really well he's getting better yeah he's getting better it's different the takedown and stuff now yeah, yeah. yeah. Luke yeah. Riley as well he's going pro isn't he he's going pro soon Luke's striking is phenomenal I know it was good to see um, other gyms have been coming down training with yeah. us with me and with you and it's good to see our level to these isn't it yeah. and to be like no we actually it's are different isn't it just, just sparring with like, before you start sparring, it's not like sparring because, like, when I spar with, like, Cullen or Liam, I was like, yes, lad, it's not like that. Yeah. When you get in the cage with someone from a different gym, you're it's like... It's half a fight, isn't it? It's a little bit... It's, you feel a little bit of nervous energy and you're like, I've got to step up to the plate here. Gym you know what I mean? So yeah, I can't not... You? I can't not step up. If I don't step up, I'm going to get schooled. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I have to turn up. Yeah. Because some days we can just come in and go through the motions where we're feeling it. Yeah. But, like... When when another gym come down to spa, it's like not today, mate. No, it's not today. You've got to you've got to turn up. You've got yeah. to step up your game. Otherwise, you'll end up getting talked shit about by UK no, MMA. I know, I know. <laughs> but the good thing is, if they like, they never really scouses. But unwritten rule is you keep what's yeah, in the gym. You, you do. Keep you keep it. What really happens so. in the gym stays in the gym. Goes yeah. without saying, especially with with sparring. Just like when the London shoot boys come down yesterday, um, we went to video, didn't we? Can you not like, record, yeah, mate? No, no video, no video. You <laughs> know what I mean? But you can understand where they're coming from. Like, but we were just gonna literally video them to watch back. Yeah. But you can understand some people. Some people would in other gyms. Like you've seen we it. We wouldn't with, give a fuck. No, we wouldn't. Some people. But you like see, no, you've seen like with Garbrandt and TJ. Oh, where yeah. Garbrandt dropped them in the gym, and then like he, he made a big deal of it, didn't he? Yeah. And years later, put it up and that. Even yes, like well, the that's Mag- disrespectful. Even, yeah, even like the McGregor Malinaji one. You know what I mean? That's it's <laughs> yeah. it's an unwritten rule. You don't it's go around talking about sparring because yeah. you're there to help each other. Mm. It's not as if it's just a one sided thing and everything's just there for that. Yeah. That's what does me head in about that Jake Paul tool. Um When's he next out? He's fighting I'm, Woodley, isn't he? Yeah, I like me and Woodley have like had conversations before and he's like, I got a picture with him at UFC Detroit two eighteen. It's when Holloway fought Aldo second time. Yeah. And um, he was like, I was watching Amanda Bobby Cooper, my friend, speak to, uh, what's the karate hottie's name? Michelle Waters. Michelle Watson. I just stood there letting them do the thing. And he's walked over to me and he's just eating some crisps. <laughs> he's like, do you want a chip? Go on, lad. <laughs> I'm just like eating chips. Tyron Woodley. And I was looking at him. He's only like that much bigger than me, right, buddy? He's like He's stocky and he's short and stocky. And I was like, fucking hell, you stoned out your head, lads. He's like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, that. Yeah, um, I, I can see him landing this big over and right and putting Jake Paul a kip, to be honest. I know. But that's, that's what I was about to say. Like, I've, I've heard that Jake Paul, obviously, when he's sparring with lesser fighters, he gets it all videoed. And then so I know Colby talks shit, but I've seen Colby Covington saying it. Um... He I has. have like Colby though. I know he's a knobhead. Yeah, he's a tool. He is. I, I just. Don't, <laughs> I think he's funny. I don't like the persona people put on. Yeah. I've said it before. I don't like it when people start acting. People think that I'm doing an act when I'm. If you're coming to the gym, I'm just me. Yeah. I am all day, every day. Yeah. That's what does me head in about Colby. But he said, um, you know, some of our boys have been down and sparred him, and they make sure the cameras get turned off. They make sure nothing gets videoed. Know what I mean? But then when he's sparring with people who he knows he can mufty, he's like, oh, yeah, get TMZ and get that, get that. And he wants them videoing. Yeah. It's it's a shit house trick. It is, lads, yeah. Scouse saying shit house yeah. trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know some people um, some people who are in America who are watching this in other countries, because I've had, I swear, I've had messages from people from Australia, <laughs> Canada, all sorts asking me to get the podcast back up and yeah. running when I, had t- when I had the little hiatus with it. All of them, like... I reckon half the people are going to need subtitles for me and you. I know. Or Vent, because Vent mumbles, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, Vent mumbles. Like, he can't help himself. He just... Uh, I've, like, like... 
I've I've always loved Vents, but like the last few years we've just got on and everyone needs to know me and Vents are getting married in Vegas. <laughs> 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 We're gonna have Elvis marry them in Vegas in a little white chapel. Yeah, a little white chapel. It's literally next to our hotel, by the way. But I said, Vent, if we haven't got partners in um, five years or so, like I'll probably stop fighting about 50, 35, 36. I went, Can I just have your kids? And then we'll just have like a the super baby daddy. breed. Yeah, a super breed in the gym. Like, it, it would drink all the time. It'd be on the <laughs> ale, right? It would be like a fuming all the time. But it's jits, wrestling and boxing would, would be, be next level, yeah. Uh, I a, swear. A, a hybrid, was, wouldn't it? I was saying it last week. I know it's very, it's very selfish and I sound like an honourable bastard, but I hope he stays retired because yeah. he brings our game on so much Doesn't just he? being a coach. Yeah, and... Ellis he, is the same. You know, yeah. like, it, it hurts me the fact that they never got the breaks that we that did they, in their and career. That they yeah, they because they deserve to be in the same positions that of we're in. They, they do, did hundred percent. Yeah. They were just as good as us, yeah. and they just never caught the breaks. Like yeah. I swear, when you're the Ventry episode, some of the stuff what's happened in his fight career is oh, just fucking my ridiculous. God. And the fucking and like the... when I do eventually get Ellis on, is it the same? Some of the stuff what happened in his career, you're just like, how, how, how the fuck's that know. happened? And, and the like, robberies but now, and the, yeah, the decisions but now. And... Like, with them two being full-time coaches in the gym, you can just see the level of everyone has just went wild. Because obviously cause it's th- always been Paul. Paul's always been our head coach. He's always had the odd person every now and then helping him. Yeah. And then when Ellis stepped up to that... Changed us. That changed. Was, I feel like when I fought for my world title, he was, like, starting to take his own classes yeah. and taking them off for him. And when our structure changed in the morning, because now Paul's got that help, the whole... The, our fighting philosophy has all just completely changed yeah. in the gym, hasn't uh, it? Everything's changed, it really has. Yeah. And then, like, even the fact that it used to just be Paul teaching, and like, Paul would have to take the burden of everyone, it used to stress him out oh, loads. Didn't it, yeah. Lads, yeah. And then now, when Paul's teaching, Ellis and Adam are both on the side, watching, Doing walking the, over, yeah. helping people. Know what, what I mean? about now in sparring? We get coached through rounds, yeah. and it's like, you'd have never, right? It's like, record your rounds, watch what you did. Good. Watch like, what you did bad. Because we used to think, oh, I'm not recording that. Like, like we don't do that age, you know what I mean? But it's I like, like putting my tunes on, so I haven't even got a phone to record because the no, tunes well, are Well, it's me or you, me isn't or it? Me or you, yeah. yeah, we have our tunes I'm on. I'm like, right, Pad, if you're on, can we have grime today? Yeah. And then if Wilson gets to <laughs> Yeah, when Wilson us, gets it, he gets the SoundCloud on, Dunny. Yeah. Wilson's like that on the SoundCloud. But he gets him. Kathy Mamba one sometimes. It's like, it's not Saturday, 5 p.m. It's <laughs> like getting ready to get right on it, do you know what I mean? It's like... I'm done in, get the gangster shit on, yeah, lad. Yeah, it is. Get the gangster some, shit on. Some days we come in and we feel like putting nice shit on as well, don't we? Some days we come in and we put Fleetwood Mac on that one. Oh, yeah, you've, we've got to mix it up, lad. We have, we've, we've got, got to mix, mix it up. It up. Oh, I can't wait to be walking around this fighter's hotel with my speaker, just like that. What is happening? Lad, I was thinking... Walking having everyone's head up their ass. What's the one? I bought the gym a boombox the other month, didn't I? Yeah, it's a belter, it's but a I was belter. thinking we can't even take that. No, we can't. I've got my little and bow speaker, have I? Box, the ones who sponsor the UFC. So you sort the kids out, Yeah, man. we'd be nice there just in the hotel with no, a nice big green all, box. all, like, so the one who's like, um, what's that manager who does all of them? Um, punch, sucker punch. Sucker punch, yeah. So he's got all of them on the boom box. I'm going to actually have to message Graham after this and say, me and Paddy want boom box. <laughs> we want a boom box. We want, we want, want one there. Yeah. Oh, there's going to be beef. There's going to be me there. I'm trashing the hotel room. <laughs> I'm not making weight. <laughs> Again, <laughs> messing, <laughs> messing, yeah. Uh, you only ever missed once, didn't you, in the UFC? You only yeah, ever missed well, your debut. That and that was, was your debut. You took it on five weeks' notice, Mel. Yeah. A lot of people don't take that into consideration. Well, I had £35 to lose because I was living your the best good life. life with me belts. Took it to Turkey with me and everything, didn't I, lads? Everyone doing all kinds on the belt. But I, um, what was it? I was on weight in the back, scales. And then in the front, I was half, half a pound over. And then I just had no time. And Rim was going, just shave your ear, you'll be on. <laughs> I went, lads, how much am I going to lose to Miss Waitie when two grand? I said, I will take that. Rather than take, shave yeah, your Yeah, I'm not fucking yeah, rose I now, wouldn't, unison, That's like me. That's like Could me. Could you imagine? So I can remember when I fought a Rosa. Yeah. When I fought a Rosa. Did he say that? He's making me spit yeah. and cups, lads, yeah. all this. I was all like, that. when I fought a Rosa, I am... Um, like, we got there, we got to the scales. Me and Fishy were both absolutely cabbaged, both just like... 
And then we had to, I can remember, I can remember my dad was fuming. He was like, what? They haven't got a fucking sauna here. You're going to have to travel now to a sauna to go there. It was hilarious because my dad was funny. He was going, where the fuck is this Graham? I want to talk to him. And well, then when he... my dad ended up seeing Graham outside, they were both just standing chatting, having a bifter. What? <laughs> that's, that's your dad all <laughs> yeah, over, just like it? that, <laughs> having a bifter. But yeah, we had to go, we had to get transport to somewhere. And I'll never forget it. There was Ellis, Paul and JP and Adam just pulling me and Fishy out the sauna. We were just lying on the floor. We couldn't move. We was getting pulled in and out, and Paul said what to me... What was Fishy saying, lad? Put the scales over there! <laughs> he was there. Uh, Paul was like, do you want to you wanna cut your hair? I was like, no. I was like, I'm not fucking cutting my hair for this, yank. Yeah. Like, fuck that. Fuck that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, there's, that's probably... I had I had to take the extra two hours there, so I had two hours less to rehydrate. So that's another reason why I was sick in the cage the yeah. next day. You know what I mean? And fucking I always say... Hell, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I said this on the podcast last week, but... A lot of people don't know. When I found out I was fighting Julian and Rosa... Weren't you in a rave? Yeah. I was in a cave in Wales <laughs> yeah. with decks and a generator. Everyone going bananas. Pissed out of my head. Yeah. Fucking... There was, everyone had food there. I was eating all food. Got a phone call off my mates. Lad, you're fighting Julian and Rosa, aren't you? I was like, who's he? Some kid what? off the Ultimate Fighter. I was like, am I? Yeah. Sound. Got home the next day, weighing myself. I was 84 key. I was at 66, yeah. really. That was the Sunday. My fight was at 65.8 in, and I had to weigh in in 26 days. So I lost 18 kilo in 26 days. But then I ended up doing 8 kilo overnight, 8.4. I'll never forget that. Like, I'll never forget that time in our lives because I just remember we we was in after the 051 gym, still on Kempston Street yeah. on the other side, and I just it was always freezing, weren't always. it? And we was all just looking at each other like... No, what we are so life. lucky about that we met Paul Reed. I know. I swear to God. I know, lad. Because we fight week still like it's not pleasant. No, it's not pleasant, but it's nowhere near as bad. Yeah, it's nowhere near as bad. Yeah. Like, I can remember last fight week. I was sitting. I can remember my opponent getting there on the Wednesday night. I was sitting with them while they were eating a Nando's, and uh, I was just sitting there having a drink and that, and I was just looking at him walking past, thinking, "I've got pure energy. I could jump up and batter you now." Yeah. Never mind on Saturday night when I'm rehydrated. I was just like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm chomping at the bit here to give it to you, lad. Can I remember someone giving us Italian words and we started chatting Italian swear words. Did you, lad? Yeah. <laughs> swear, lad, had his head up his ass. Proper no, funny, you know. The best was when Vince shouted at that one who fucking missed the weight. Oh, that was what the did worst. He sit down, lad. Yeah. What did he say? So, nah, it was just the fact that he was like, oh, I can't, I'm dying, I can't make no more weight. And then he had one bite of a brownie and a drink. And Vent was like, what are you doing? Like, You've got to go and lose more weight. Yeah. Make one, one, 160 and you'll fight. Yeah. And he, he jumped up. What? what are you going to make me get in the sauna? And we were like, you're not fucked. Yeah. If you was fucked, you wouldn't have the energy. You can't even, like, to the people who don't know about cutting weight, but you've, like, you've depleted your body for so long. Yeah. And if you fucked it, then you really... You're taking all your nutrients and everything, and sometimes it's like, hello. Yeah, like, like we you do need, interviews you and your voice is fucked. Getting on the scales. Yeah. Like, do you remember you getting to Nad near the Mania? I never forget, lad. You was lying there, and Sophie was just stroking your ear, and like everyone had to pull you onto the scales. And I was like, oh my God, he looks like the Scarecrow Man off The Wizards of Oz. And then Nad <laughs> had about 17 million juice spots on his back. <laughs> Where is he now? I don't know. I think he's. I, I haven't got a clue to be honest. I don't really know, but I think. I think someone said he's being cut. Oh, you think? I seen cut? him training with Jack Shaw the other week, though. I was. Seen him training with Jack Shaw, so at least he's still training. I've got no hard feelings towards him now. Know what yeah. I mean? It was years ago. I'd love to get that win back because I know if I fought him tomorrow, I'd knock him clean out. But it's just one yeah. of them things, and it. You've just got to get on with it. Yeah. It made me a better fighter. It made me a better person. Yeah. To be honest, because at that lot. time, at that time, I was running around acting the goat, thinking I could burn the candle at both ends, yes. go out Saturday, Sunday night, and then I'd come in the gym Monday morning with two hours kip. And I was... I was you get found out in the end. Got found, got found out in the end because of it, and I needed that at that time. I remember, I was saying to you not long ago, um, when I first started, I remember it was like five in the morning on a Sunday, and me and you were both in parties. I was like, lads, are we going to train? And he's like, yeah. And then we just like rock up on the Monday morning like that. Oh, yeah. but Rim would never know, would he? No, we'd stash, but I can remember one morning coming in, leading up to that NAD fight, it was like six weeks out, and obviously, as you know, me and Alice have been best mates for years, never never any, any animosity towards each other, and 
And then we're coming in one morning and he just knew I'd been out. He kicked off and on he you, sh- didn't he? he was sitting there looking at me like that. And then like, I was like, oh, what's that? And he was like, like, go away. I was like, what? He was like, go away, you're a fucking divvy. Go away. Yeah. Look at the fucking opportunity you've got and you're doing this, you're doing that. And I was just like, fucking hell. Fucking hell, this is shouting at me. But he probably I must be a fucking, I must be a fucking tit. Slamming door ones yeah, in that way. Like, like, I was like, oh, fuck. Like in our in our gym, if someone closes the door in the office or you get called in, yeah. it's like that. What the fucking pray for me, guys? Yeah, What's going what on? is going on? It's always me, Fent you, or it, Adam. Vent on it to me the other day. Luckily enough, this episode isn't going to go out till after a little surprise party. Yeah. Vent on it to me the other day. Sophie was sitting behind the desk. Vent goes, Pad, come in here. And I went to Soph. Fucking hell, what have I done? I haven't done nothing wrong. What, what, you, you just expect to get shouted at. Walked in the office, he's like, you do know she's having a little surprise. Ben saw a little surprise for her next week. I was like, fucking hell, Vince. I thought I was about to get for you. I didn't know what I'd done wrong. I was expecting to get shouted at like I'd done something wrong. It's funny though how much weed goes to bits if Rim kicks like, Oh, yeah. If Rim's kicked off on me before I've like cried. Yeah, I'm like that, it's like my I'm after. I'm so sorry. Like I can remember, and it, Ellis is the same. I can remember Ellis saying to me, lad, I'm not even pissed off with you. I'm just disappointed. And that's like that. Yeah, oh. I, went in, I went into the changes and started crying. You know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, Ellis just said that to me. I speak to him more than my brother. He's yeah. more of a brother to me than my actual brother, brother is. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I was just like, oh my God, this is fucking, this is heavy. I must have fucked up. I must have fucked up. Yeah. And like, it's just, it's mad how much of a bond you get with people in the gym because you're with them more than anyone. We're yeah, in the gym all day, every day. Families, more yeah. than your beards, than your, your fellas, your yeah. whatever. Like. You know, it's like, and that's why I always say to people, our gym's like a family and people don't get it. But, like, we've had um, the other gyms we've been coming down and even, like, Dakota's coming down from Manchester Top Team. She's just like, it's a different vibe in here. Everyone says it, don't Yeah, they everyone says it when they come to our gym. Liverpool. Everyone says it. Come our gym, it's different. Like, I had a young lad started doing private in our gym and he lit uh, Little Max and he'd, he'd been to another gym in the city and he literally, he'd, he'd, he'd done one session with me. He'd come in on a Friday, done a, p- a private on a Friday night and obviously the lads were in doing open mat and that, and there was a few people there. Everyone was just having a laugh. Yeah. And his dad was sat on the side, and his dad just went, "No, what mates? We're gonna join this gym." Like we went to another gym. We've, he's had a few sessions there, a few little privates and that, but it just doesn't feel the same as in here. And I was like, "Lad, no other gym feels the same as here." It's scouts. It's just a proper scouts gym, it is. isn't it? Like you've got Fran Breen teaching the kids old school, like how we was taught coming up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's, they don't get like the snowflake training. No, they don't. They get they it get, proper. Yeah. Yeah, but not but, yeah. like, but still no head contact and all that, so. Yeah, of course. We're still good there. I've only just noticed we've went well over the Sorry, hour lads, mark Sorry, lads, on the armpits. I've hey, definitely say, lost look, a kilo look in look here. Look at that then, lads. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> we this said red, we'd get them, We didn't said we we'd lads? get them. We knew we'd get them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to uh, wrap it up. I wanted to uh, thank my sponsor again for this episode, The Right Click. Get on them. Um, anything you want to say, Mal, before we Lad, go? thanks for letting me on and let's just go and smash its fucking head. Oh, we are going to smash its head. And we're coming back from Vegas 2-0. and oh. All six of us who went to Vegas and had to have the, the hangover week. We're going to sit here. Biscoff, cookie dough <laughs> and ice cream. Some form of fucking chicken wings. Proper carbonara. Oh, my that's, God. That's Pasta Cozy, come on. You've literally just took the words out of my mouth. I was about to say... So when the six of us are coming back here, <laughs> yeah. I want major offers off different scran gaffs and dessert gaffs saying, got this for you there, got this for you there. And loads of drinks, not diet. I know the difference. I'll have a full fat Fanta after the fight camp. I'll be back on the cherry coke hard. I'll be back in the farm foods, me getting crates of 24 of cherry coke for the tenner. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for listening, listening again, people. Um, I want to thank everyone that always gets involved. And again, as always, thank the Liverpool Podcast Studios for having us. We're here. It's a pleasure. See you next week. Ciao.